So here we have a conditioning move originated by B-Boy Guinho from Brazil from power of move science, the science of power moves. You wanna do 10 leg kicks on each side. Try to get into a split position on each side. And now on your elbows, 10 on each side. What you want to do is do about um, two to three sets and 10 reps each on each side. Here we have another conditioning move originated by a lot of uh, power move b-boys, but the person that I mainly seen do this is b-boy Marcio back in the day. He used to have a video of him uh, st stretching and freezing on a wall. So this exercise is actually very important for your shoulders uh, and for balance in that flexed position. As you can see, you want to pike on both sides, left and right, and you can grab your foot, right, and alternate. Here, I'm going to show the same uh, wall technique but on your elbows as well this is a little more advanced for those that you of you that can do elbow air flares and air flares and want to transition a little more easily this is a great way to condition that and also just the condition flexibility in general i suggest doing uh, 10 in one set and you can do as many sets as you want if you're starting out uh, try just doing two sets of 10 and just alternate from side to side. Uh, this technique uh, for air flare training and power moves is pretty wide, widely spread by B-Boy Funt from uh, Ukraine or Russia. He originated this, uh, this box, air flare box technique where you draw a box, right? And you want to be able to throw yourself in that box. So what's happening right now is that I'm basically throwing in one direction and then hopping and facing the total opposite direction. This is the air flare box technique by B-Boy Funt from Power Moves Conspiracy. So here at another angle, we can see the box technique by B-Boy Funt of Power Moves Conspiracy. I believe it's Ukraine and not Russia. I apologize for that. So what's happening here is that you want to create a box. You want to face one direction. And then when you hop over, you're going to face the total opposite direction. As you can see, so I'm facing the mirror. Now I'm facing the complete opposite direction. So once I start throwing, you can hop your legs up, right? To mimic the air flare as much as possible. So I suggest just doing 10 rounds, right? And then pausing and then doing a few sets, right? Uh, this move is pretty common. You wanna do a straddle split and you wanna do what's called a press up. Uh, it's a common gymnastics move. So you just press up into a handstand and from here, oh, I just dipped my legs, it's okay. Now you wanna do uh, leg twists. This will help your balance and uh, build up the coordination for when you're whipping an air flare or doing you know, handstand twists, pirouettes, and things like that. <laughs> 